Hello, my name is Tom Stiles, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show number 292. So, a very interesting article on a website that I really like, and I've mentioned several times on my show. And I'm going to show it to you now, and then I'll show you some little investigation I did, because I didn't quite understand the concept they were talking about. So, let's go to the article first which is right here, and it's on the swling.com website. And the article just came out, and it's about frugal shortwave listening, basically, or SWLING, uh, investing little but getting a lot out of your radio. And I think there's like 10 things that the author suggests you can do to improve your shortwave radio and uh, ham radio listing and transmitting. And I came down, all these are understandable, and I came down to this one right here. Number six, learn to use exalted carrier reception. And notice it's showing, it looks like a Texan PL660 radio. And apparently from what this article says, is this radio and several other ones, and this is just a short list, there's many, many more, but radios that have single sideband capability can use this method for getting better reception off of an AM broadcast. Now, this is an AM broadcast, not a single sideband broadcast. So, what this talks about is this exalted carrier reception or exalted carrier single sideband. And what you're doing is, if your radio has single sideband capability and has a, a very controlled, uh, precise BFO so that it doesn't drift, you can use this method of tuning to improve your AM, shortwave AM reception. So, I got a little confused here and how did this differed from what some radios have and it's called AM synchronous detection. And so I started doing a little investigation about this ECR mode. And here's a couple of articles I found. Here's the first one. And this is on Crystal Radio Group website in Birmingham, Alabama. And they're talking about uh, this handmade uh, radio. And then down here, they talk about exalted carrier reception. And it says that the signal from the local oscillator, this case being the BFO, is tuned to the carrier of the desired signal. This raises the voltage of the signal to the region of more efficient detection. And then it goes on to talk about um, how this, this makes the signal more intelligible or readable. Okay, so that's one reference to ECR. Got another one here uh, that that talks about the other term, which is ECSS. And it says this term was introduced by World Radio TV Handbook. I've talked about and did videos on that handbook. It's a shortwave listener's handbook. And it stands for Exalted Carrier Selectable Sideband. And suppose you, that you're picking up a weak signal, weak AM signal. This is not a single sideband signal. And uh, on, says, more expensive communication receivers, a set will probably be fitted, be fitted with a BFO. And it's marked uh, as a signal sideband, upper signal sideband or lower signal sideband. In some cases, they are just single sideband and you tune upper and lower. So what you do, again, is you, by listening to the AM signal, you put the radio into single sideband mode. And then you use the BFO 
to retune that AM signal. And the theory is it will make it more readable or listenable. So that's kind of the concept of this. I think I have one other article. Here's it. Okay, yeah. This is another article on SWLING. And this is talking about using exalted carrier reception to tune pirate radio. And it goes into the advantages of using this. And it also gives you a discussion of what ECR or ECS is. Again, the difference um, is that your radio does not have to have an AM synchronous detector and, or detection, which that is trying to do what you're trying to do manually here. It's trying to do it automatically. So that's the difference. So your radio doesn't have to have that to get at the advantage of that characteristic of a shortwave radio with a BFO. So I hope that makes sense. Uh, again, go look at these articles. Um, the, two, the two best ones are the one on swling.com. And if you just uh, search for uh, ECR, Exalted Carrier Reception, uh, it, you will find, it will find those two articles for it. And you search right here under the SLWLNG post search. And it finds the article for you. The other thing is, going back to the original article where I found this, uh, this right here, this is a new article, and it's definitely worth reading it. And it tells you how you can improve your shortwave listening uh, for very little money. It talks about um, avoiding RFI, radio interference, taking your radio outside again to... To avoid interference, using uh, external antenna, using uh, rechargeable batteries to save you money, using he listening with headphones instead of just through the speaker. The e e e e. Hmm, it looks like a typo there. He's got E R C, and it's really E C R. Hmm, I have to tell him about that. And then it talks about uh, listening. You know, just what you need to do to listen. So uh, take a look at this web page. I think you'll like it. And this is my attempt at understanding what ECR and ECSS is compared to AM synchronization. And if you give, can give me some help here, just leave a comment and uh, help me uh, understand exactly what this mode is. And um, I've tried a couple of times in the past and uh, sometimes it helps and sometimes it doesn't do anything. Sometimes it makes it worse. So that's the show for today. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Now, where's that key?